What is going on YouTube? Lex Express checking in with the WWE 2K16 update. We're going to be taking a look at a couple screenshots talking about what has been revealed. And we're going to start off with what we already know, 120 unique characters. Sounds great. We already know now that if one superstar has multiple gimmicks, so if Mick Foley, for example, he has Cactus Jack, Mankind, those are two separate unique superstar characters or whatnot so while the years between a wrestler will not count as a unique character there will be people that have multiple characters like uh like for example mick foley now mick foley hasn't been confirmed in the game so that's just giving you guys an example but let's talk about what's new to the game before we talk about the screenshots my career is coming back and yes it's going to go in deeper with the fact that they added the wwe hall of fame now what you strive for is to get inducted now we're going to have create a diva those women out there that couldn't create themselves in the game in the previous years or wanted to create other divas that are in other companies now they get the opportunity to do that that is always awesome the more the merrier right now we have creator show we've had creator show in wwe universe i don't know if that's what this is or this is a new create a story mode create a story as far as i know is not back this year they have yet to announce it create an arena which is something i did want and create a championship which is another thing i really wanted so those are essential things that should have been in the game they're bringing it back that is real cool wwe universe mode wrestlers can now be booked in multiple shows back then you would have a roster assigned to each show and you couldn't have for example seth rollins appear on smackdown and raw because he had to be a part of a roster so the online has been overhauled and that is thank god that that was announced uh from day one because the online was atrocious for wwe 2k15 let's see what they reveal about it so far the only good thing about the online is the community creations aside from that the online sucks terribly so we got three-man commentary team jbl is finally joining you know the commentary group with michael cole and jerry the king lawler that is something that should have been there last year now we got match types that have been added and brought back like ladder matches handicap matches tornado tag team types so you know these are things that just are essentials they should have been there they're bringing it back hopefully there's a lot more match types aside from the ones from last year and these because i still think that this is not enough no loading screens between entrances that is awesome and makes it more lifelike the loading times weren't that bad before but now making this a seamless transition is much better and much more enjoyable the ai is is a lot better that is something that is always good to hear because the ai always has to improve because players get better and you know the ai sometimes uh sucks really really bad in these games now let's get into the screenshot discussion what i think about stone cold steve austin he looks spot on you could tell they face scanned him i think his beard is maybe a little bit too brown for my taste but nevertheless it looks just like him he has the jacket so that is always cool we got the terminator as a pre-order special hopefully we see screenshots of him real soon and everyone is going crazy with finn balor's screenshot they have revealed he looks fantastic in the game you could tell that they really really worked on him because they have done nothing but shove him down our throat and he is just a nxt superstar but the face paint and everything looks fantastic we got another screenshot of stone cold walking down to the ring and seth rollins staring him down waiting we got wade barrett looks overhauled looks like they really worked on him this year the body scan the facial features everything looks exactly like him in real life so i think that is real cool then you got daniel bryan they finally added the long hair and the long beard and i think they did work on his face and body this year a lot more and we got another screenshot of finn balor he looks like a superhero in this picture you could tell he's in the nxt arena so going forward i am very excited i have seen nothing but positive things uh related to wwe 2k16 i can't wait to find out more i'm this slightly disappointed they didn't announce gm mode uh slightly disappointed that there wasn't more match types announced initially but going forward you know we're gonna find out who is in the game at SummerSlam, and we're gonna find out a lot more about the game at SummerSlam, like they do every year so thanks for watching youtube gamescom is out so i'm gonna have more gaming related videos Subscribe for all next-gen content. WWE content is right here at Gaming with Lex. Thanks for watching. Peace.